What I'm supposed to do with this? Wait for it. Wait for it. You're going to see it. What am I supposed to do with this? Here it come. Here it come. See it? There it is right there. Do you see it? If you don't, I'm going to explain it to you real fast, real simple. Jamal Brown, literally in the middle of a play, said, I am not going to block for my quarterback. I'm going to make sure my gloves right. I got to look good when I go take this picture with Lamar Jackson. I got to make sure my gloves good when I throw the L up. Whatever the heck that means. Really? Really? This would not be tolerated. This man needs to be cut expeditiously, man. Seriously. We need that man gone. Yo, that. Say E. A. G. L. E. S. Eagles. Say fly, Eagles fly. You know what it is, your boy Fully Fresh, aka the general here reporting for duty, man. Also, aka a four for the Battle Bird podcast, man. You know how we get down. Whether it's smiles or frowns, we're gonna be there for y'all. You know what I mean? And shout out to my guy, man. Shout out to God, my guy, Be More Philly, aka Charles Smith, man. Dropped another video on me, man. I got I, I I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop laughing when he sent it to me. I'm going to get into Jermon Brown in a minute, but first we got to talk to Doug. But then, and first and foremost, make sure you hit that sub button right down there, man. Appreciate you, man. You got to hit that like, too. Got to hit that like. I appreciate it. That's how they push me out there, man. Now, listen, Mr. Doug Peterson, I think it's time for two things to happen. Number one, you give up play calling like I've been saying. Number two, you don't need to go on a podium or Zoom calls or whatever and have post-game interviews anymore. If y'all haven't heard, Mr. Doug Peterson says he ran out of plays to call for the two-point conversion. So while everything is scrambling, if you notice, right? Everything was scrambling. Carson Wentz was scrambling, trying to get people lined up. It took him so long to get to the line. That's on the coach. Call timeout. You got a timeout left. A lot of people want to say that's on the quarterback. All right, I give him some of that. But that is on the coach. And how do you? How the hell do you got Martin Morningwig and you got um, Richie Rich and you got uh, uh, Press T You got all these dudes, and y'all run out of freaking plays. Doug, that was the dumbest thing that you could have said. Like seriously, I don't understand. Even if that is the truth, but I don't, I don't go back to whatever, whatever worked. But then why run that one? You already tried it on the first two point conversion, conversion, or the second one because you was chasing the whole game. We ain't kick an extra point the whole game. And Jake Elliott, you get some of this smoke too. How about you start hit, hitting some field goals that mean something? I don't care if they 50 yarders. That's what we gave you an extension for. That's what you're getting paid for. They hit them kind of kicks. Back to Doug Peterson, man. Listen. You need to stop doing the meetings. You need to stop going on uh, uh, um, 94.1 and talking to dude because he pulls your card every time. Because you switch up. You'll go on post game and say something, and then you'll just switch everything up and say something totally different when you go on his uh, when you go on his um on the station in the morning. Like what? What does he put pressure on you? Like I don't understand it. Uh, listen, and then your your your, your play calling was so if you wasn't getting Carson Wentz out the pocket, Carson Wentz was getting murdered. Like, the Baltimore Ravens should be on trial right now for mur for attempted murder. I, I, I don't know why you don't see what I see. I don't know why you... There's no way you don't see your quarterback taking torture after torture. And I understand... I wouldn't have did it, but I understand why people were saying, yo, poor Carson was in the, in the second half. It wasn't that he was playing bad, which he was, but it wasn't his fault. You got dudes like... I'm going to get into him in a minute. But the offensive line was not good. 
I got to really break down the all 22 to see who the heck was bad. But I know for a fact it was the guy that we going to talk about in a minute. Oh, mister, let, let me take a let, let me take a, a, a picture with the op while I'm sitting there sacking my quarterback. That's what you did. We're going to get to him in a minute, though. I still got to talk to Doug. I got to holler at Doug. Listen, Doug, your play calling was not good once again. Your your situational football was not good once again. I don't know how many people I text and I said, get the points at the half. You keep trying to force the issue and be this type of bull guard I'm gonna go for it when it's when it's convenient in the first in the first uh, half. But then when we really need to go for it, I'm just I'm just this whole I'm just this whole coach that shrink up. Make up your mind. Who are you? The reason why we don't have an identity is Doug. You don't have an identity. Once again, you ran the ball not enough. Carson went through for 41 times. I understand we was down 17, but still. Carson Wentz threw for 41 times. Miles Sanders only had nine rushes and still broke 100 yards. 13 yards per carry. The production was there. You got to use it. I don't understand what you're not seeing, man. Hold on, y'all got to park, man. I'm a, I'm, I'm a master at this parking thing, though. I ain't going to lie to you. Get right in there. Ah, pause. But anyway... So what I don't understand is how you not running the ball, and 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 if if it takes for Jalen Hurts to come off the bench and give this offense some type of spark, some type of way to get a first down, it took you three quarters to get a first down. Are you freaking kidding me? Carson Wentz couldn't look up to look at his hot route. He didn't have time to do anything. He didn't have time to blink. And they was in his face. No screens. One screen. No touch passes. Meaning no drop back just once. And then throw some slants. I would seen none of that. Everything is predicated on people going on the outside. Everything is. Carson has to sit there and wait for them to get open. Why are you not drawing up plays to get these guys open from the rip? Everybody else does it in the league, Doug. That's the problem that I got with you. That's the real problem that I got when you look across the league. When you look at guys that play us, you see slant routes. You see, you see things old quick and over the middle to get, to get guys open. We don't have that. You don't do that, especially with an uh, aggressive defense that we just played. Use the aggression against them. That was one of my dues. Obviously, you're not listening to my videos or watching because you need to. Mr. Doug, Mr. Doug Peterson, man, your play calling needs to stop. You need to you need to hand the rings over, man, hand, j j just for a couple games. And let's see what happens. Your situational football is not there. I don't understand it. Like, like, why do you continue? I do, I do, I get it. That's the only power that you probably got in the organization, and you're you holding on to that for dear life. You fighting for that. You making sure you do not give up all the power that you got. I get it. I understand it. But at the same time, are you going to be a detriment to the team? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. We could have won this game, y'all. We could have won this game. This game was won. It could have, should have been won. Last week, it should have been won. My man Carson Wentz, we're going to talk about Carson Wentz probably tomorrow. Bro. We're going to go live. We're going to talk. Because Max Kellerman and dudes like ESP and Joe Giglio and dudes like that are freaking idiots. You mean to tell me all the work that that man put in and you saying that he was he he the, uh, the main reason why we lost the game? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, he oh, he's not the reason, but he's not the reason why we won the game. He should have won games like that when he's the only him and his center is the only starter in the game. Jamal Brown, let's get at you for a minute. Are you freaking kidding me? First of all, and you and and, and I, I I can't find the video. I got it, but I can't. I, I don't know how to put it on my phone. But for, first of all, you tack your own quarterback after the game. You take a picture with the with the op throwing up an L. 
I don't know what that means. But to, to, to you, it means loser. You gave up the most pressures on the offensive line. You gave up three sacks. Why are you, you need to be taking a, you need to be taking a picture of somebody that's going to help you be an off, a, a, a offensive lineman. That's what you need to be doing. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. This dude should be cut today. Today. You sit there and you're fixing your gloves while my quarterback is running for his life. Literally, you're sitting there fixing your gloves. Because you want to take a picture with Mr. Lamar Jackson. You all stuck. Oh, look at the braids. Look at the braids. Let me go take a picture with this guy. Let me throw the L up. Get the hell out of here, man. He needs to be gone yesterday. I don't know if y'all seen what I seen, but it's it's despicable. Watch the video. Watch the intro of this video. That it, it, it's funny. I laughed at it. But when you think about it, that is it, it, things like that can get your quarterback hurt for the rest of the season or for the rest of his career. Who knows? Especially against an aggressive linebacker core and defense like this. It would not be tolerated. It should not be tolerated. That man should be off the team today. Go find somebody else. Give me Cordy Glenn. Where the heck is he? We play again on Thursday, and I do not want to see that line again. Toff. Who the hell is Toff? Man, hey, if y'all agree with me, even if y'all don't agree with me, comment below, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. But I ain't going to lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's got some changes gotta happen. We play the Giants soon, and you know, we're four point favorites now. Started off at six until Miles got hurt. But you look at what we're trotting out there, that this is an iffy game. Get Carson with some freaking help. Yo that. Stay Philly, stay fresh.